Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and if I've done my job properly, you are watching me in black and white right now. Because this is the next instalment of a My Pick series. And today I am delighted, astounded, overwhelmed and honoured to be accompanied by the wonderful Christopher J. M. U. A. So, if you want to find out exactly which picture inspires the pair of us today, which palette or palettes we're using, then, my friend, you are in precisely the right place. As I have said a number of times and oft here echoed on other less imaginative channels. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Put your feet up and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey my lovelies, welcome back from the intro. Okay, you will have seen from the intro that this is the latest episode in my pick series and I am so so delighted and excited that someone that I've followed for quite a while on on YouTube <clears throat> but um, despite the fact he's followed me he's commented on my films he comments regularly on my Instagram he replies back to me when I comment on his YouTube I'd never quite had the courage to ask him to collab with me. Relating back to the whole bitches of Eastwick and how I got very rudely turned away by someone that everyone thinks is so lovely. Which is an absolute bitch. Anyway, um, so I was, I was kind of, although the person I'm talking about now is an absolute delight, and always comes across as the friendliest person I thought that she was as well. So I was kind of mm, finally summoned up the courage to ask him if he would like to collab. And he's like, oh my God, yes, of course, I'd love to. Absolutely love your pick series. And I'm like, oh my God, I should have asked him ages ago. Um, and I said to him that, you know, the reason why I'd not asked him, he was then worried that he'd come across as standoffish and I said no, no, it was absolutely my insecurities, it was nothing to do with you at all. So, of course, I'm talking about Christopher J, M-U-A, I absolutely adore the man, I love the looks he does. He comes up with some amazing editorial looks that just blow me out of the water. Every time I, I know I'm going to be entertained when I watch his films. And there's very few creators I can say that about. So, as always, I said, do you want me to choose or do you want to choose? And he's like, no, 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 you choose the first one. So, when it's the first round of that, I always shoot across a load of photos and go, right, do any of these call to you? If not, I'll fire some more across. If not, I'll keep firing you photos until we get one that you like. Um, and he liked this one of the Nebula. Um, and I'm really glad he chose this because this has been calling to me for quite a while but nobody's been picking it <laughs> um, you can see there are so many colours in this now if you've not watched my pick series before there are two rules you can only use colours that appear in the picture you cannot add colours in if they are not there but you don't have to use all the colours if you don't want to that's it that's the only two rules you can paint your whole face as a replica of it. You can just choose one colour or two colours that call to you and make a an eye look out of it. You can do a wearable look, you can do an editorial look, you can do whatever you like. So long as it's not rude. Because obviously my god kids watch my channel. Um, 
I have to admit the colours that are calling to me out of that are the teals and the purpley pinks. Is anybody surprised? No. Um, I am absolutely dying to see which colours Christopher is tempted by, but those are the colours that are tempting me right now. This remains a teaching channel. As such, I go at a speed that with my chronic pain doesn't kill me and that beginners can keep up with and people with chronic pain can keep up with. If this is going too slowly for you, there's a speed widget up there somewhere or I think down there if you're on your laptop. Um, just feel free to speed me up, I haven't got a problem with that. Just in, just watch me however you need to watch me to enjoy the film, okay? If that means upside down eating a jammy donut while drinking a milkshake through a straw, don't choke. Um, if you've not seen my tutorial before, I zoom in very, very tight to my eyes so that you can see very closely which steps I'm doing. As part of that, I noticed a while ago that a lot of people with deep set eyes, like I've got, mistakenly refer to them as hooded lids. So they follow the tutorials for hooded lids and wonder why their eye makeup doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to insert a clip in just a moment where I talk you through how to work out whether you have hooded lids or deep set eyes and what the workarounds are for both eye types because the way that eyeshadow wears through the day on those types of lids pretty much identical to be fair so I can understand the confusion. So uh, the two palettes that I have pulled I wanted to use my new Kaleidos palette but it didn't have the colours in it that, that I wanted to use and that arrived this morning and I'm like why haven't you got the colours that I want to use so I'm going to use my um, it helps you if you have it the right way up and Futurism 3 Asteroid Pink and Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise. So, here's your clip. I'll see you at the other end of it when I'm applying some of these to my eyelids. Up close and personal, remember, don't jump. Now, um, my eyes have this primer on it. This is the Crown Pebble Primer in blank page cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%. And I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Crown Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC Paint Pot, for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily, or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this. You can blend on it instantly. And you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest, the deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well, so you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush, just a very light layer, and then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now, I've got deep set eyes so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease I have to cut onto the upper lid not just through the socket and if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes, I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. 
so they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much, if not more, lid that tucks back away out of sight. And if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid, you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that hooded lids get. So. What are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush. Sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow. So just use smaller blending brushes, or if necessary, take the colour right up to the brow, instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself, all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using. Just sit back, relax your brows and make sure you brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids but that have very similar issues. Hey my lovelies, I am back. Okay, I'm going to use a, a Voldemorphy brush. I've got no idea what this one is called because it was part of an eye set and annoyingly they don't put either a name or a number on it they just put Voldemort on it but it's basically a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to start off with my Kaleidos 5 Electro Turquoise and I'm going to go into Digiteal which is the deeper of the two teal mattes in this um, I'm going to start off with the Viennese Waltz of Blending, which I will explain to you just now. I hold the brush right at the very end so you put as little pressure on your eyes as possible. We always start at the outside edge because if you get a sudden dollop of pigment it's far easier to blend it out here when your nose isn't in the way. And we're going to do natural turns towards the nose, a bit of a fleckle, and then reverse turns away from the nose. Now the reason I do this, I'm 46 years old, I've lost over 14 stone, that's over 200 pounds, the skin on my eyelids moves. By doing the circular movement rather than just relying on the windshield wiper, you're very gently moving the skin around without causing any further damage but you're making sure you don't get that tiger striping or pin striping um, look. So I'm going to start off just above where my natural crease would be. Oh, <laughs> I didn't tap off very well did I? Thankfully, I always do my base mm. afterwards because uh, hmm, because of things like that. So I'm going to start off by gently blending this across. And bringing it down, a bit of a flecker when we get there. Reverse the direction and bring it back out again. Now, whatever size the width of the head of your brush that's how wide 
it's going to blow the shadow out, see? So if you've got smaller eye real estate to play with, just use a slightly smaller brush. Come back in, picking up some of that kick up that's on the pan and gently building the colour up. Which is way preferable to dealing with fallout afterwards. So, Christopher J. Um, I think the first film that I saw of his was when he'd gone to one of the Jeffree Star conventions and it was like a vlog where him and his mates had gone and they'd, they'd done like a road trip of it and it was so fun. His, his personality just captured me straight away. He's such a lovely guy. He's, he's thoughtful, he's caring, um, he's got a wicked sense of humour, you can see that, especially when he's with his friends. And I just thought, yeah, do you know what, I'm really liking this guy. So I literally sort of subscribed to him just from that one vlog. And then I started to watch some of his tutorials and I was like, wow, this guy can do makeup. This guy can really do makeup, you know. Um, and as I said, I followed him for a long time. So I would absolutely advise you, if you don't already know who he is, once you finish watching me, to go over and check out his film. And I can bet your life you will soon be a subscriber of his too. I can absolutely see that coming. Do you know what? I'm thinking of doing a halo eye today to mimic the nebula. Let me grab another Voldemort for this is an M321. Slightly more dense packing brush. I'm just going to build up the outer edge of my mobile lid to this side. And I think the same on the inner corner just here. Can't see a damn thing. Hoping I'm still on camera. Yay, good. Blinding this eye so when I close this one I see nothing. Mm, I like that. Why is it, whatever time I sit down to do my makeup, that's when I get a million and one emails? Hmm? While I was waiting for my pain meds to kick in, I got no emails at all. The minute I press record on my camera, Whores at beauty con. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect in my time. I saw the beauty guru eye. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. Got my champagne bottle. 
stock top. You can also use my code for the Sprato. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. I'll be snapping out with Nikki in the ocean shade. Jacqueline, we're on a jet, waiting for my face to set. Classy girl, let's collab. Lily lashes looking fab. Redman, we're fucking stars, vlogging in our matching cars. Jackie, this gloss is fruity. See you, sisters, edge and beauty. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has brought a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. If it ain't nothing, I can go on a support free. If I shout you out, I think I'd break your social blade. Social blade, social blade. I think I'd break your social blade. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Whores at beauty con. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has brought a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. <laughs> Got my champagne pop, keep it stuck up. Also use my code for the sprout. I'm gonna go into force field now, by the way, with the Voldemort 139. And I'm gonna blend these edges out. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. I'll be snapping out with Nikki in the ocean shade. Jacqueline, we're on a jet, waiting for my face to set. Classy girl, let's collab. Lily lashes looking fab. Redman, we're fucking stars, vlogging in our matching cars. Jackie, this gloss is fruity. See you, sisters, edge and beauty. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has brought a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. If it ain't nothing, I can go on a support free. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Social blade, social blade. Think I'd break your social blade. It ain't nothing, nothing, nothing. Social, 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 social blade. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Social blade, social blade. Think I'd break your social blade. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has brought a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy. Looking flawless with my beauty guru family. It's so perfect and my time has brought a beauty guru life. So if you like this video, then please subscribe. If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade. Got 
my ice cream gloss looking gorgeous Got some glitter on my eyes, I need more brush It ain't nothing, I can go on a Sephora spree I, I, I can paint you, but you know it's gonna be for a fee Jeffrey, snap a pit, open PR packages Laura, I love that lash, sponsored post, yeah I need cash Now, when you're blending one colour out with another, like I've done here, you saw that I started off with the brush half on the darker colour, half on the bare skin. The reason I do that is because that gives you a really nice soft blend between the two shades. So you don't get a sudden harsh line. You can see that just fades up as a gradient really, really sweetly. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I'm cleaning my brush on a clean washcloth, by the way. I don't like colour switches. They are far too harsh on the bristles of your brush. Could I roll my R's any more than that? Probably. Will I? Possibly. Right. I'm going to use my Revolution Cucumber Fixing Spray to wet the brush after I have applied the pigment because you never put a wet brush into a pressed pigment. And I'm going to go into the Kaleidos Futurism 3 Astro Pink. And I'm going to go into the shade... Just where I've stuck the names on back to front, I think. Can I get that off without tearing it? I should do. Right. I'm going to go into the um, there's, there's like two shimmers in here. So you've got a, a lilac-y one and you've got one that goes blue to purple. And I think, I think I might use them both. Ha ha! But let me just grab a micellar water and clean up this fallout because it's really starting to bug me. This is just a simple cotton pad with my cellar water on. This is how I sharpen my edges up afterwards. I don't like using tape because it pulls on your skin. And if it pulls on your skin, it can create wrinkles. I ain't not really got time for them. I've got enough problem on my left eye as it is with the super deep creasing that I've got here. Right, so I'm going to start off with the deeper of the two, which I really can't decide if I've stuck these on in the right way, so I'm not going to give you the names of them. I'm just going to, I'm going to use this one, which is the one that shifts blue to purple, and this one, which is the lilac to silver. And then I will double check on the Kaleidos website which way around these should be. Because I'm pretty sure on my other one, these were the other way around. So I may have stuck them on upside down. Right, so I've applied the pigment to both sides of the brush. And I've squirted both sides. Now, the ferrule is wet. Always dry this off. Tuck it into your knuckles and spin. Because the last thing you want is moisture coming down here and loosening the glue that's holding your bristles. Because then you won't have a brush, you'll have a stick. Uh, this is a lip brush, it's a, 
Jeffrey Voldemort from JS24, but I like it because it comes down to a nice fine point. So I'm just going to pop this on either edge of that teal that I put on. enough to do this side as well. I do have to stretch this eye out fractionally otherwise the pigment when it's a shimmer um, packs loosely into the crease and I end up with it going into my eye through the day as it dries up. This is what I was saying, you don't have to use all the colours in there, you can just concentrate on a couple. And for me the, uh, the teals and the purples really stood out to me, hence why that's the colours that I've gone for. Now I'm going to go into that lilac going through to silver. Again, dry the ferrule off. And apply this to the middle. Of the lid. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry the brush off. I'm just going to use the very tip of the bristles to very lightly drag the shimmers together just to Soften the edging where they meet, dry the brush off again, and do the same on the very outer and very inner corners. Shh! Damn, phone! Right looking so pretty. Alright my lovelies, I'm going to pause you while I go and pop some foundation and whatnot on and I will be back to finish off this eye look with you. Now I'm going to have to wait a little while before I can talk to you again but for you my darlings it will be absolutely instant. So I'll see you now. Hey, I am back. I did my usual uh, soap brows where I fluffed them up with some soap <laughs> and then used the end of my brow brush thingy to put some of the burgundy in from the Astro Pink palette. Kidoki. So, going back into the turquoise palette, I'm going to go back into Digiteal and then using this flat topped brush, I'm going to run that along the lower lash line like so. Hmm. 
I love this palette. Right, this is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. The reason that I love it for smudging out my lower lash line is it's fat, flat topped but chunky. A little bit like me. So I'm going to go back into Force Field, which is the lighter of the two again. With the two teals in here. And I'm going to use that to blow out the lower lash line. I really can't wait to see what uh, Christopher's doing with his look, which colours called to him and which palette or palettes he's using. One of the reasons that I've loved this series so much is that I think this is episode 47 now and all the way through there's only been a couple of times that the looks have been even remotely similar and that's the whole point of this it's two people can look at exactly the same picture and be inspired by different things but I'm going to go into Shockwave in this palette this Kaleidos palette and I'm going in with a lip brush that I bought from eBay probably a decade ago to be quite frank I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner and bring it along under the eye just to blend it in with the teal that I've got running under my eye just as a nice in a corner, zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. if you know what a zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh is, I'll also pop a little bit of it just up under the tail of my brow. Pretty. Right, my darlings, I'm going to pause you for one last time while I do mascara, lipstick do something with my hair. I haven't decided quite what yet. It's, uh, it's having a moment to itself uh, and I will be back to show you the finished look once again for you darlings. It will be instant. Hey, I'm back. I just wanted to show you that I've added a little lilac wing. So this is my finished look, uh, I used my Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut Highlight, um, I used, as I said, I added a little wing with this Barry M High Vis Liquid Eyeliner, they've got it in four different shades, I'm trying those out because all too often pastel liners or ones that have got like a white base to them crack, so I'll let you know how this holds up. Mascara is my Catrice Glamondol Volume Mascara, waterproof. Uh, this is an absolute dupe for Benefit Bad Girl Bang, but it's cheaper and it's waterproof. So my lovelies. Oh, and the lipstick is a MAC Amplified Cream in shade Craving. So this is my finished look, inspired by the nebula, chosen by the gorgeous Christopher. Uh, if you are a 4F beauty, please double check you're still subscribed, YouTube are still unsubscribing you, but they are leaving my films in your newsfeed, so it is not obvious that you have been unsubscribed. Once you've done that, uh, do hit the like button please and uh, leave me a comment let me know which colours if you were the one collabing with me today which colours would you have chosen from the nebula and if you already know Christopher which colours do you think he is going to be pulled by obviously you can only do this if you haven't yet watched his film otherwise that would be cheating and we don't cheat here <clears throat> no 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 once you've done all of that, if you haven't already watched Christopher's film, 
I'm going to need you to go over there, watch his film, and do all the good YouTubery things that you've just done for me. You know, a like, a comment, maybe even a cheeky little share. Uh, so that we can try and beat that YouTube algorithm and get our films actually promoted to people. Which would be nice, wouldn't it, really? If you're new here, if you've come from Christopher's channel, or if you've stumbled across me uh, completely by accident, Hi, hello, welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've made it this far through the film, I'm guessing there was something you liked, even if it was just me blethering on at you in a rather calming voice, or so I'm told. Um, it'd be awesome if you two would like to join the 4F family. It's super easy. You hit that red subscribe button, turn it from red to grey, then you ring my bell. And then you say yes, and all of them, and you keep saying yes, and all of them, until YouTube stop asking you the same damn question in a different way. And then you might get told, I don't know, one in four of my films that get uploaded? Speaking of which, I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch. Uh, there's all the preceding episodes of this pick series for a start. Um, I've got other collabs, I've got product reviews, I've got challenges, I've got tag films, I've got my Zodiac series that I've started. Um, I even read you my favourite poem. There's bound to be something that will interest you. So if you're looking for a bit of me time, basically grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, pick a playlist and indulge my darlings. Right, my lovelies. Don't forget to check out Christopher's film. All that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.